Hey guys, Bungie here and welcome to another tech tutorial. Um, in this video I will be following up my old tutorial that I made in August of 2020 regarding the ASUS TUF A15 gaming laptop which has been plagued by a few problems which can be addressed. Uh, I am currently using this laptop right now and I haven't turned it off nor have it crashed for almost three weeks which is pretty promising so hopefully this video will really help you. So um, if you didn't read the description of my last video I provided some updates as to how to fix the ASUS system freezes apart from changing the dedicated graphics card in the Windows 10 settings. So update one is that you should install AMD Adrenaline Software 20.8.3 or higher, which you can get from the official AMD website. And uh, the second thing is that if your refresh rate drops, then uh, your integrated graphics card is disabled. So what you need to do is hard reset your computer, which means turning it off, holding the power button down, but do not restart it. And once you've restarted it, the AMD Radeon software should work again. Update 3 is to as a recommendation that you should update your BIOS to version 3.1.1 or above uh, via the MyAsus app or you can just go to the Asus website and download that. And update 4 is that if you get memory leaks, for instance if you go to your task manager and you go to memory and your committed memory is upwards of 50 gigabytes or something then what you need to do is install install Nvidia studio ready or game ready drivers on your computer uh, you need to install at least 461.92 or higher to address the page file memory leaks and uh, the color fix explains itself and the purposes of this episode is to show you how to replace the Wi-Fi card so, uh, what you need to do is you need to buy a replacement Wi-Fi card. So any uh, typical uh, Intel Wi-Fi card would do, and you can also buy any other brand if you wish. If you'd like to buy another Realtek one, then have at it, but I really recommend you do not buy one of those. Because the, uh, as I will be talking about later, the Realtek card that they provided with this computer is very poorly designed. So before you do anything you'll firstly have to download the Intel drivers for for Windows because once you've already once you've already installed the Wi-Fi card it's not going to work and you won't be able to download the same drivers afterwards so you need to download the drivers before you upgrade your hardware. So um, in order to download that you have to go to the Intel website which I have open right here and I will also put the link in the description for you and you'll need to download this Windows 10 Wi-Fi drivers for Intel wireless adapters so you need to go ahead and download it download the 64-bit version um, into your downloads folder and now we can move on to installing the actual Wi-Fi card so first of all you have to flip your computer over and remove all the screws on the bottom side of your computer. Make sure to keep track of where those screws came from so when you put them back into your computer it will make the process easier. Because if you don't do that you will get all your screws mixed up and maybe put them in the wrong place and maybe even void your warranty so do keep track of that. And also I don't recommend doing this on your bed as I am demonstrating now, but it's literally the only place in my house right now that's not a literal pigsty. So please excuse me for that. So the next thing you'll have to do is to switch to a um, flathead screwdriver and try to pry the bottom of the computer open. I recommend prying the computer next to the LAN port because that's where the plastic um, 
flap is the easiest to pry open. So as I'm demonstrating here, once you've opened it a couple of times, it makes it easier. So it's always best to be careful the first time. And once you've got that open, you can just lift the bottom part of the computer right off. So once you've got the computer open, you'll be able to see that um, there's an NVMe SSD right there. We'll have to take that out by switching to a Phillips head screwdriver and just undoing the screw and gently pulling out the NVMe SSD. Once the SSD has been removed, we will be able to remove the Wi-Fi adapter. First of all, you should remove the antenna by gently pulling the cables out of the Wi-Fi card and undoing the same screw that's keeping the Wi-Fi card in. And then you can just gently lift the and pull the Wi-Fi card out just like you did with the NVMe SSD. Just bear in mind that I've already replaced my Wi-Fi card, so I am going to replace the Wi-Fi card with the same Wi-Fi card because, as I've said, I've already changed it to the Intel, so I'm just going to put the Wi-Fi card back in. So just um, push the Wi-Fi card back into the Wi-Fi PCI Express port, and uh, I recommend putting the screw back on first before you put the antennas in. The process of putting the antennas in will be a tiny bit tedious and um, a little bit stressful because the plugs are so small and the port on the adapter is so small. So you should take care, extreme care when putting them in. Uh, if you're finding it hard to put it in with your fingers, just use a, a screwdriver and push the the metal metal plug into the adapter. And then just insert the NVMe SSD on top of the adapter the same way you took it out in the first place. And insert the screw and tighten the screw but this process can be a bit fiddly because there is some space next to the SSD where the screw might fall into. And if that does happen, then I recommend using a magnetic screwdriver or something to, to pull the screw out of the empty space. Once the SSD has been secured, just place the bottom part of the laptop back to the way it was and then push it with your hands and snap it back in like so and then put place the screws back in the same way that you took it out considering that you organize the screws and don't have them messed up but just follow what I'm doing and um, if you don't know which screw goes where then just look at what I'm doing And after all the screws have been tightened into the bottom of the laptop, we can go back into the system and install the drivers that we need. Once you've started your computer again, um, navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the Wi-Fi driver from Intel. Um, you want to install this as, as with any other software. So you want to press yes to this. I just opened it up twice, so don't need that again. So you want to go next, and I agree to terms and conditions, and it will then install the software.
but since I've already got it installed, this will be unnecessary. But that's about all. Once this is completed, please just restart your computer and everything will work as expected. This is Bungie for Bungie Studios. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time in my videos.